a hot topic on the campaign trail right now. Abortion just days before the Iowa caucuses. All the top Republican candidates are talking about the issue, and President Joe Biden is ripping on their pro-life stance. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. Tonight, President Joe Biden did not have any on-camera events on his public schedule today, but he is weighing in on abortion using social media. His position, of course, is completely different than the Republican frontrunner and all the other GOP presidential hopefuls. Former President Donald Trump speaks about abortion at a Fox News town hall. The Biden campaign was quick to share it, posting a clip on X. For 54 years, they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it, and I'm proud to have done it. President Joe Biden retweeted the video, writing, just like he said, he did it. President Biden criticizes Trump for his pro-life position. Biden's campaign is working with groups like Planned Parenthood and Emily's List to, quote, call out the dire threat that these mega Republicans pose to Americans' freedom to access abortion. Even Republicans who stand for life approach abortion differently. Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis debated the issue last night on CNN. These fellas don't know how to talk about abortion. I have said over and over again, the Democrats put fear in women on abortion and Republicans have used judgment. This is too personal of an issue to put fear or judgment. But when she says things like pro-lifers need to stop talking about uh, throwing women in jail, that's a trope. No one I've ever met thinks that that's something that's appropriate. Uh, these women are in vulnerable situations. Chris Christie dropped out of the race after failing to make the debate stage. But he continues to rip on both Biden and Trump. I am going to make sure that in no way do I enable Donald Trump to ever be president of the United States again. And that's more important than my own personal ambition. And tonight, Tracy, former President Trump, is also making headlines for another reason, this time in New York City. Yeah, and what are you learning about that court appearance today, Owen? Well, Tracy, the former president attended closing arguments in his civil fraud trial in New York City. And afterward, at a news conference, he called the case politically motivated, labeled the attorney general there corrupt, adding she suffers from, quote, serious Trump derangement syndrome. Take a listen. And so it's all it's all a conspiracy to try and get Biden, who can't put two sentences together, trying to get him into office. So I just want to let you know that uh, we have our best poll numbers, we have the best everything despite this, and maybe because of this. Now, Trump did give a courtroom speech, but made those remarks you just heard at a lower Manhattan office building he owns and could lose control of as a result of the trial. And Trump and the other GOP presidential candidates face a very tough test this coming Monday. That's when Iowa, the Hawkeye state, holds its caucuses, kicking off the 2024 election season. Tracy? All right, correspondent Owen Jensen reporting tonight from the White House. Thank you, Owen.